Hi everyone, welcome to Yan's Family Table. Have you heard of Mala Tang? No? Well, it's basically a spicy, numbing, personalized hot pot for those of you who love pungent flavors. Today, I'm going to show you how I make mine. Let's go! Here are some of the seasonings that you'll need. The super ingredient here is the Sutra Mala Spicy and Numbing Hot Pot Soup Base. You can find this in most grocery stores. It's basically a block of chilies, spices, seasonings, and beef fat. And it's the essence of any mala tang. Plus, milk and sesame paste. Yes, it sounds totally weird to put milk in hot pot. But trust me, these will fit perfectly together. With the soup base sorted, Prep some of the foods that you like to eat in hot pots. Here are some of mine. An assortment of veggies, proteins, and starches. I particularly love wide sweet potato noodles and even instant ramen. Now onto the wok. Over medium high heat, add copious amounts of oil. Then toss in the dry spices as well as ginger, garlic, and green onions in to toast up. After a minute or so, add in the hot pot soup base and stir fry to melt and for the flavors to all mingle together. Once the fragrance has come out, add the water. Then season with light and dark soy sauce and a bit of rock sugar. Bring the soup base up to a boil and then introduce the milk and sesame paste to the party. When all of that comes back to a boil, it's time to cook up all your favorite eats. Be sure to put them in in the order that has the ingredient which takes the longest to cook going in first. And when everything is cooked and tender, the dish is done. This is a complex and intense meal of a dish that is also very quick to do. Eat it straight from the wok or pot or dish it out with some of the soup base. And if you're taking pictures like me, top with some greenery and some sesame seeds. But these are not really necessary. What may be necessary is a good slog of citron peppercorn oil or powder to bump up that numbing heat. And there you have it, an authentic spicy and nummy ma la tang with a couple of surprise ingredients. While you can totally omit the milk and sesame paste and still end up with a wonderful ma la tang, the two add a nutty richness and mellow out the spiciness of the soup base. As always, go to yansfamilytable.com for the full written recipe Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more recipes like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.